All right, time for number nine. Some parents in China are paying as much as $50 an hour for <laughs> jump rope tutors. Oh. Yeah, back in 2014, the Chinese government issued physical education requirements, including the jump rope exam for children between first and sixth grade. All students must skip at least 17 times a minute to pass. But if they can jump at least 100 times a minute, they'll get an excellent score. So naturally, parents are very competitive, so they're trying to get ahead of it by bringing in tutors for their kids as mm. young as three years old. Oh, boy. We got to get on it. Yeah. yeah. This is, nice they're passing us in everything now. It would have been nice to have something like that when I was a kid, like a, a pull-up instructor. Yeah. Or now, those ropes. were no joke. You'd have come in and been like, knock knock off 20 pounds, and then <laughs> you can get up yeah. on that pull-up That's pull -up step number one for you, pork <laughs> job. <laughs> But I'm those, fine. those hanging thing, did you have to hang there? Or was no, that just the that, girls? No, the girls did the hang. Oh. The boys had to do pull-ups. Yeah. And I would just you know, <laughs> hang from that bar for 35 seconds and helplessly kick my legs. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. squeeze one up. In front of a <laughs> room full of 35th graders. Oh, yeah. Not traumatizing at all. You're I'm fine. fine. Number eight, the first line from this Gawker story tells it all. On Wednesday in Barcelona, wild boars attempted to steal Shakira's bag. Come on. The details, boars are actually becoming a real problem in some European cities. Really? Police have gotten thousands of calls about the beasts going after pets and holding up traffic and messing with Shakira. She said she was at the park when the wild boars were trying to take her bag, which had her phone in it. They took it into the woods. Wow. They really mm. tore it up, but they didn't get away because, as Shakira explained, in the end, they left the bag because I confronted them. Well, there it oh, is. Yeah. That's what you have to do. You don't confront them. They're just going to keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. Like the raccoons in our society. Yeah. Uh, number seven, your coworker emails you asking for help with the project. You reply, no problem. But going forward, I wouldn't mind a few days' notice. Here's the thing. Communication scientists say going forward is a passive-aggressive term. Yes. Ah. Yes. It translates to don't ever do that again. Yeah. So maybe stop using it. Instead, say, uh, say nothing at all. Just say no problem, at least in an email. And when you're in person, you can have a more uh -huh. productive discussion face-to-face. -face. You get a lot of emails from people asking you for help? Anyone? No. no. Yeah. I get a lot of passive-aggressive emails. Right, but nothing like, hey, can you help me? No, but all that kind of lingo, really. like, let's think outside the box, let's right. workshop this, let's, let's table do all this that. For later. Like, oh, let's yeah. circle back. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I'm block all those people. Oh, thanks. All right, number six. What's the difference between Swedish pancakes and crepes? Oh. Someone around here was wondering, so we thought we'd find out. First, the batter for Swedish pancakes is much thinner yeah. than the batter for crepes, and crepes have an egg or two more in the batter. Okay. Ideally, you'd make Swedish pancakes in a pan with a raised lip around the edge, and All that right. helps with the runny batter. You uh -huh. see it? That okay. pan. All right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can make crepes in your regular old frying pan, but they also have a preferred cooking service, and that's a crepe maker. Oh. Yeah. You use that T-shaped tool to even out the thicker batter. Okay. Even if you just make them in a pan, crepes are easy to flip, they don't stick. As for Swedish pancakes, you kind of have to get handy with a spatula to flip them. Basically, the Swedish pancakes are a little fluffy while mm. the crepes are super thin. Okay. That's a lot of information. And I'm not making either that. one of them. Would you read that for me again? I was trying to <laughs> keep up, and I don't think I followed that all the way through. The Swedish pancakes are fluffier. Crepes, okay. crepes are Both thinner. delicious. Fewer eggs in yeah. one of the two. Yeah. Can't remember which one. All right. Uh, number five. If you don't exercise at all, you're actually probably going to cost yourself a lot of money. A study from the Journal of the American Heart Association suggests about $2,500. Mm. Uh, researchers came up with that amount by analyzing data from an annual survey on healthcare costs and lifestyles of more than 26,000 Americans. They concluded that just 30 minutes of walking five days a week is enough to save you $2,500 a year in reduced medical costs. Hmm. That's for the individual person, also saves the government money. Hmm. All right, number four, are you looking to try a new hobby? Why not try tap dancing? Oh, yeah. 
because we found the most adorable tap shoes. Exactly. That would inspire even someone with two left feet. And if you happen to have two left feet, that's okay too. All shoes are custom made to fit. Wow, isn't that nice? Uh, they're available at, at rhythmdancecompany.com. Uh, there's a lot of whimsy. The definition of whimsy. Right? Boy, if I've learned one thing from watching Dance Moms over the years, the kids who are good in all dance disciplines do the best. So, right. I mean, you mm -hmm. can't just be a contemporary right. dancer. You have yeah. to know tap. You have to do it all. Yeah. Very well so, rounded. Jazz. Yeah. yeah, I think tapping might be a thing for me. Yeah. It doesn't seem like you move. You know, you yeah, just it's move easy. It's all yeah. from your ankles down. Yeah. But with those ankles that run yeah, you got family. the weak ankles. Weak yeah. Ankles. yeah. Well, yeah, you true. just have to support yourself. Mm. <laughs> Number three, if the shoes don't inspire you, maybe this will. Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor oh, yeah. from Singing in the Rain. Uh oh. Wow, it's dark. It was a heavy <laughs> rain. It got so great, dark. It's a, great, it's a really great well, scene. Like a, what happened? <laughs> Let, let's go while we're young. I thought yeah. this was supposed to be inspiring. <laughs> Control, Alt, Delete. What? And then redo it. Uh, let's just give them a second to find it because you don't tell people that you're going to inspire them and then right. pull the. Yeah, there's like 80 buttons back there. Just push one well, of them. Yeah. See what happens. I think we are inspiring people to just keep going when things don't All go right. your way. Right. No, that's no, 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 that's failure and no. trying to disguise it as exactly trying to what help that people. Is. Yeah. We, we should wait it, here should we for wait? as long as it takes. Let's wait. Do we have it or are it they telling us to move on? another 52 minutes now. Right. They don't have it. No, they don't well, have it. what happened? It's a lot like this. You know no, what? it's not. <laughs> That's just right. the problem. See, when this <laughs> happens, we should make the producer come out yeah, here yeah. under the lights yes. and explain himself. Right. Right. Terry Martell. Or whoever's <laughs> responsible back there. Or have you come, have come out and tap dance until the clip's ready. <laughs> right. <laughs> if, if there was a microphone in the control room right now, the FCC would shut us down. <laughs> right. Right. So we don't have it. We don't have no. it. We'll, we'll get to it at some point. And I'm we don't sure. have anyone who's going to reenact it. No, nope. but he, Terry says the next one's really good, so we should get to it. But it's he also very... He's, a, he's a proven himself a liar yeah, already, yeah, yeah. so why he's should we believe well, him now? He's, he's he also said this story's a little more serious, okay. so let's just put no, it in our right. serious, serious camera and we'll get back to the yeah, 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 Ready? In a minute, okay? Go. All right, number two. Here's some interesting stuff you might not know about the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which is in Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. It's a historic monument, of course, dedicated to the U.S. service members whose remains have not been identified. It's a place of deep reverence and respect. All the Unknown Soldiers have been awarded the Medal of Honor, the highest medal can, one can receive. And one of the things about it are the Tomb Guards who are soldiers of the United States Army. It's considered one of the highest honors to serve as a sentinel at the Tomb of the Unknowns. Fewer than 20% of all volunteers are accepted mm. to be trained to be a guard there. And of those, only a fraction wow. pass training to become full-fledged tomb guards. You must memorize a 17-page packet of information about the cemetery, be able to write that out, punctuation included. The tomb has been guarded every minute of the day since 1937. Guards are changed every 30 minutes. They're there 24 hours a day, every day of the year, and in the winter they're changed every hour. There are strict rules about every move they make, how neatly pressed their uniforms are. The guard wears no rank so as not to outstrip the rank of the soldier in the tomb, whose rank is not known. And it's said that it takes a guard hours after his shift to perfectly polish his shoes and press his uniform. Wow. wow. I never knew all that. That's incredible. That, that is, is unbelievable. Mm. All right, that was good stuff. Let's uh, shift gears uh, for number one. It's Oktoberfest time, and let's just celebrate with this clip from a Spanish variety show in the 1970s. The pop singer called Mickey had a hit in Germany, Luxembourg, and in the Netherlands with this song, Bye Bye Fraulein. And as a bonus, he enlists the dancers from Ballet Zoom. Here Ooh. it is. Una tarde nos conocimos y después de darme un beso se marchó. Oh. Dancers are top notch. 
Oh, I buy. Well, that seems like subliminal message. Yeah. It yeah. like a subliminal right. message. What are they trying to tell me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand if it's about saying goodbye to a woman. Why or was it all about the beer? Well, because you're celebrating yeah. because she was such an angry. <laughs> they seem happy. Yeah, though. he seems a little happy to because be Because she's gone, yeah. Yeah. Well, he also has a beer in his hand. Right. And he got mm, that great haircut beer. that day, too. Those two are adorable. He's got other girls to drink with. You know, why don't, this is coming back, you know, this open collar shirt look over your jacket. Why don't you try that on a yeah. Friday? A casual Friday. Lose the tie. Loosen up a yeah. little bit. Look at this guy. Happy. I mean, singing a German song in Spanish, which is a nice little twist yeah. there also. That huh. was I had a lot of good things going on. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Well, you really have there. an ear for the languages oh, there. I'm a linguist. Always <laughs> yeah. have been. Yep. A master linguist. Wow. Master you are, yeah. Right. Yep. And now here's Gene Kelly dancing. <laughs> no. 